Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been doing intermittent fasting for three months now. Today I want to share my six rules to make my intermittent fasting a success. Rule number one, define your eating window. So I have been doing 18-6 intermittent fasting. So when I define my eating window, I think the best time frame works for me is from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So I can eat uh, my brunch at work and I also can finish dinner before I go to home and cook food and prepare food for my family so I don't keep snacking on at night. Rule number two is no sugar, real or artificial. This rule can help me eliminate all kinds of snacks, uh, pre-packaged, pre-processed food. Next time you go to the grocery store and try to find something that doesn't have any, any sugar, it will be really, really difficult to find anything that is super healthy without any added sugar. So that kind of eliminate me from eating uh, unnecessary snacks so I can focus on my healthy meals during the day. Rule number three is no snacks in between the meals. I watched something about why Japanese people keep um, being really thin. One thing from that video is that Japanese people do not really eat, really eat snacks in between meals. When I lived in China in a village, you really don't eat, eat snacks between meals. You focus on your three meals and that's it. Rule number four is no drinking calorie. I made up this rule just because I love coffee shops. I love go to coffee shop and get my mocha or latte. And it's such a money waste habit. And it's such a... And then when you really look at the calorie in a single mocha, it's ridiculous. That's why I made a rule like no drinking calorie. That means also no alcohol, beer, wine. So that saved me a lot of money also on grocery bills. Rule number five, record your progress. So the first thing in the morning after I go to the bathroom, I weigh myself. In my experience, if you want to have a really solid habit, you need to measure your progress. Uh, recording my weight every morning that single action helps me keep reminding me every day i'm on the right track so every morning when i get on the scale it's not only that uh, to give myself a number but also remind myself um i am on track of building a successful habit it's kind of like my keystone habit to make the whole uh, intimate fasting work rule number six is do not miss two days in a row I think it's really hard to build momentum when you are trying to build a new habit, when you're trying to do intermittent fasting. But we also have to know life is full of su surprises. So when we have to miss a day, it's not gonna break our whole like habit. So we need to try our best to get back on the momentum the next day. I found from my experience, if I miss two days in a row, it's very likely that I just broke my momentum. And it's, re it's really easy to convince myself I don't need to keep doing this. I should take the whole week off. Um, it's kind of like when... <laughs> maybe it's just me. Like a small setback sometimes can make me feel like, oh, I failed on the whole at the whole thing. I made this rule for myself because I know how easily I, w I can lose my momentum and I know how hard it is to build. Those are the six rules that help me make my intermittent fasting experience a success. So if you are interested in doing intermittent fasting, um, I hope this video will help you get started or if you're already doing it, I hope this video will help you um, keep doing it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.